Welcome back to my YouTube channel everybody. I am in the hallway today because I tackled this corner in my hallway. I have the world's, well that's a, a claim to make, but I have the tiniest hallway ever. If I stretch my hand out I can touch <laughs> the other side and I'm not big. So narrow, small hallway but I want it storage and I wanted to make something pretty. So in this video, I'm gonna show how I made up this area using an Ikea Hemnes, Hemnes, can never pronounce it, shoe cabinet. Let's start with painting the piece. So I'm using the four drawer Hemnes shoe cabinet. You'll notice on the Ikea website that they come in a couple of different sizes, but I'm using the one that has four drawers and not two. So I'm starting by prepping my piece. I'm using some degreaser. So even though I'm painting it disassembled, it may just have a bit of dust and dirt on it from transporting. So I'm giving it a clean and a light sanding. I'm just giving it a little scuff because I want the primer and the paint to have something to like adhere to. So a light scratching, I'm not sanding it back bare and I'm just wiping off any dust. I'm going to apply one coat of primer. I'm using Prime 2 by Colour Trend and I'm going to use a roller to apply this to get a nice smooth finish. You can use a little brush if you need to do any of the sides or difficult corners but one of the perks about painting disassembled is you get to have that nice perfect finish. Make sure to allow your primer and your paint to fully dry between coats. It can be really tempting to kind of reapply, um, but if you reapply too quickly, that is when you'll notice paint lifting off. You need to let it do its thing and let it fully dry between coats. If you look closely, you will see Pepsi's paw mark on my panel. <laughs> so here's the top coat. It is a yummy a green color. I'm just obsessed with green um, the past year. So this is called Keystone and I'm using an eggshell finish. So it's gonna be a really durable finish. I'm going to apply two coats of the eggshell um, finish, but you can also get this color in satin um, or gloss. I went for eggshell because it's going into the hallway. So it's a high traffic area. I want to be able to clean it, wipe it down, and I want it to hopefully not chip. So eggshell is quite durable if you want to avoid chipping. I applied two coats and again make sure to allow enough drying time. So here is a little tip, you need to be careful when you are assembling your piece. So because this is freshly painted, you have to allow your piece of furniture to cure. So paint needs to cure and that can take a few days. Now I assembled mine the next day when it was dry, but I just took extra care to make sure that I didn't chip the paint. So just because paint is dry, it can still be prone to chipping within the first kind of two weeks. So you need to allow it to cure. For safety, you need to anchor this into the wall. So I am drilling into a concrete wall. So I'm just using my hammer drill and I'm marking out where the two holes, so there's like a piece of wood at the back and I'm just using a pencil to mark the two holes. I'm then gonna drill a hole, pop in a wall plug and then screw it in and this is nice and secure. Blandy health and safety officer. She always makes sure I have my goggles on. So I just drilled it in, secured it, and that was it, nice and secure into the wall, and then you slot in the drawers. original handles or knobs for this piece are actually made from metal so I just use some gold a rub and buff I love this stuff I have a pot of this 
for god knows how long i'm actually using an old concealer brush to put on the rub and buff this is just giving it a nice gold sheen if this dries really quickly you can do two coats but i actually just did one and you can just give it a nice little buff to bring up the shine and i then stuck them onto each door frame i just screwed them on and then i slotted them into the piece now for the fun part which is styling my hallway so I added a round mirror I am newly obsessed with round mirrors I just think they're really nice I'm actually watching a YouTube video on how to put up the Stockholm Ikea mirror so this is the Stockholm round Ikea mirror I think it's 80 centimeters it's the larger size and I'm just putting it um, above the unit just because I want it to, I love how mirrors just add a bit of light to like a small hallway again I'm drilling into concrete so I just made sure that I had a screw on either side drilled into the wall and then you just hang it up so it's all about the measurements because the back of this it's not like an easy kind of hook there's like one either side so you really have to kind of measure so I gave it a clean up and then I popped some trinkets on top so the good thing about this unit is I need it for like practicality so shoes um, I like I have shoes in the hot press and random places so it's great to be able to come in and pop them in but I also want it to look pretty too another thing that I'm using it for is you'll see me pop a basket on the shelf and although the basket looks pretty it's actually practical as well because I have clean face masks in it because I have a habit of going out and kind of forgetting them um so i have them in the basket and then i can just put dirty ones straight into the washing machine and i also just have some hand sanitizer as well so it's kind of like a little hidden sanitized station um for for the times we are in I'm popping down a little rug just because I thought it would make it feel a bit more cozy. Um, I'm using the stop rug stop stopper. Is that what it will be called? Basically, it stops the rug from slipping, and it actually does work because um, a rug in the hallway when you come in definitely will be a slip hazard. But this stops it from slipping. That rug is from Wayfair and I got it like last year I love 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 the pattern of it and I love how it fits in the hallway um I'm still kind of on the fence on the rug because I have a feeling I'm gonna have to wash it often because like this is my hallway and it's winter and it gets quite muddy but it's there for now so let me know what you think um it just fits it kind of perfect now I left the love heart little mat because that is handy for wiping your shoes um so i don't know about having the two of them but that little love heart mat i got in aldi years ago like six or seven years ago and it's handy for just wiping kind of if your feet are wet or if you have like mud on your feet
my hallway and how it's looking. It serves as like a functional space as well as like a cute pretty space. I can fit a set you're only supposed to be able to fit eight pairs of shoes in this unit but I have tiny feet <laughs> so I got four um, flip flop sandal things in like one press which is handy. Um, bottom of course because it's winter um, but I can fit like two pairs of boots in one which is quite good so I generally just keep it for like my walk and shoes and things that I'm using like daily so like runners to run to the shop and then my good old kind of muddy boots as well. So something that I think a few people may comment on is the door situation. So this measures 22 centimeters in depth. The other Hemnes unit is wider. So there is another shoe storage unit from Ikea. I think there's a couple actually, um, but this one was the narrowest, is that a word? The most narrow and it fit my wall perfectly because as I don't know if you can see, it does come out a, a bit. So the door will open as you've seen from the video, but if you are kind of concerned about whacking, I don't have a problem with that door slamming. If any slams happen, it's generally from like my kitchen door. But you could always put like a bumper at the end. I think IKEA sell bumpers. They're kind of designed for kids for when they knock their head. Um, but if that is a concern, you could pop a bumper on the corner or you could put like a door stopper just right where you want the door to kind of stop, stop. and um, yeah, just be careful. But my door can open all the way. I haven't had any kind of squeezing issues. <laughs> I am going to link here. I'll put a card here for a post on my website that has lots of details on how to paint IKEA furniture. So it's something that I get a lot of questions about um, and like searches on my website for. So to make it handy, I will put a card here. I'll link it in the description as well. So if you want to kind of get more details on painting Ikea furniture, you can check that out. The Hemnes unit is actually quite, a lot of the pieces are solid wood, which is a slight veneer finish. Um, whereas like some pieces I've painted has been like really shiny, whereas this was actually really nice to paint. My washing machine is having a right old spin in the background. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Give it a cheeky thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.